Hey guys, welcome back to the lovely Provokers and Partner Squared sessions of our uh, video series that we do here. Um, as you can see, we're in Provoke headquarters as usual. Somebody is still on crutches. So yeah. Yeah, a little setback. Gonna so, be on them for a while longer. It's a little easier being here. So yeah, Shane, what are we talking about today? Today we're doing the summer. Summer and owning your own business because it can be complicated. It is complicated. Especially if you have children or even if you don't have children, but children do uh, require extras. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, things like your daycare doesn't exist during the summer or so many different, there's no school. Yeah. <laughs> Or are you, in our case, we have uh, two tw young 20 year olds at home that uh, are in charge of looking after the dog. And, you know, we have one graduate. And so he's looking for a job. Oh, wait, he's not looking for a job he's anymore. He's not looking for a job. We got a job. So, yeah, we're super proud of him. But, you know, we, we still have all these responsibilities at home. Currently, he's texting me because he needs uh, some medicine because he's sick. So. You know, the job is never done. Yeah, no matter how old they are. <laughs> yeah. Don't we all know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know my dad could probably say the same about me. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, there's a couple topics that we we're going to get into. So, Shane, let her rip. So, when we're, you know, summertime, you know, it's like natural slowdown times for a lot of businesses, especially, you know, in marketing and stuff like that, because with the school, uh, school's all out, less people working. Mm -hmm. There are people that are taking time off for vacations and all that, but people that own their own business don't have time to take massive vacations or take time off or stuff like that. Yeah. So we need to work on stuff, you know, that are in smaller scale. Yeah. And me and Shane, Provoke has a tendency to still like, you know, it's the summer and we're still working away at full speed as we were before. like. And for us, it's trying to find like that happy middle ground where, hey, this is a good week just to take a day or, you know, go out to Niagara on the lake and just take a day or me and my best friend head to Collingwood and we'll go to the spa, like just take a day. And I am like the worst, like I'm 100% the worst person for it because it took me a long time to get to the point like, it's okay, Lisa, you can take a day. You know, the world's not going to fall apart or the clients aren't all going to go insane when you just took a day for it's yourself. It's all about work-life balance, which is extremely important because if you don't... You'll burn right out. <laughs> yeah, and we had some spots last year where we were totally burnt out. Yeah, because we hadn't taken a vacation in two and a half years. We, haven't, we hadn't just taken that, you know, mental stop like you know and the best thing we could have done was we did that trip to alberta bc just to recharge and it doesn't have to be anything of that magnitude best just, part was that we had very little internet yeah. little, little wi-fi because we we're in the mountains was, the scenery was amazing so we you, paid attention to everything around us instead yeah, yeah. so you can't get wrong with that scenery yeah. out there but uh yeah it's super important and um what I'm saying is you don't have to go to that, you don't, you know, there's budgets involved and stuff. Maybe it's a stay at home vacation and you just do day trips. Like you go to the zoo, you go, like we're so fortunate where we live in Burlington. Like there's so many things just all around us. We're huge Jays fans, as you know, like it's nothing to get to Toronto to a Jays game. Thai cats. Yeah, Thai cats. We got Niagara on the lake, you know. I can it, do wine tours. We've we've gone and left here early on on a you know Thursday in the afternoon and just went out to Fielding's Winery and just sat there and had a charcuterie board and a glass of wine each. And then came home and made dinner. Yeah, it was the best thing. So yeah, yeah it's, it's a breather. It's those little things and like you know you can easily make day day trips and stuff. Go and, see a waterfall. Yeah, Go and, hiking. It doesn't, doesn't have to cost money. It doesn't have to cost money. Like there's amazing hiking spaces around here. Uh, there's every waterfall that you ever need. Around there's here. like a website. I think there's a hundred waterfalls, waterfalls within a hundred kilometer radius of the Hamilton area. Like yeah. 
I mean, they don't cost anything to get into. Maybe parking or a uh, park pass, but yeah. but yeah, it's a inconsequential. It's by the car. Yeah, and then you can you know make a day of it, pack a picnic lunch, and you know, I would highly suggest uh, um, heading to if you haven't been, go to Trues Falls and. That's an amazing spot. Um, there's a there's a whole bunch all around the escarpment. Um, Devil's Punch Bowl. It's a nice little walk in, and what well, you know. Ups. And it's a there's hiking spots of all degrees of experience yeah. too. Like you don't need to be like some crazy hiker. Like right now, I can't go, but we still go drive around these places, and yeah. we can see the falls and stuff like that. I yeah, mean, I sure. don't need any. It just it's different degrees of stuff. Yeah. So I think we got that topic. Next one. Next one would be um, like doing stuff for your business, especially because you're like, you know, you're slowing down a bit. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect time to work on your own business stuff. Yeah. Like anything from new business cards, swag, yeah. to anything forward facing that people see like websites, and uh, like leave behinds and stuff like that. Like there's yep. so many things you can tweak. Systems that you do, the way you do things, mm -hmm. like you lay them out in order and go, okay, what's working, what's not? What can we fine tune and fix? Yeah, I always appreciate this kind of time. So yeah, I say that we're, com uh, we're, we're, we're comfortable, you know, but we, we do know in the next couple of months we could get, and there's some big jobs coming in. So, you know, one of our main focuses is we've been really, it's been really tough for us to actually have the time to focus in on finishing our webs, our new website. So it's been in the works for a bit, but yeah, I know we've mentioned it a few times on yeah, here. And it's hard because, you know, your business comes last, you know, clients, clients, all the client work comes first, of course. And as a marketing agency, everyone knows what I'm talking about. You're always last. So, you know, I personally, what I do is I stop my day at about four o'clock, unless there's something like seriously going on and I have, I'll take that hour and a half to work on our site so that, you know, we have a specific deadline in mind when we would like to be done. And, you know, that gives me, I can plug away at it a little bit each day kind of thing. And, you know, that helps get it going. Um, you know, we have some plans on some ways of outreaching that we want to do too. So, you know, uh, sometimes that has to be done at home, like, or on weekends and stuff. But at least you're, you know, you're chilling in your but backyard. But you break, you break it up though, so that you're not like, it's all about balance. Yeah, at least you're chilling in your backyard with a beer when you're having these discussions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's so important to make sure that you know, don't leave your business until, you know, make sure your business is up to date too. Because, you know, we're very lucky to have a very referral based business as we do. But, you know, we, we are always looking for new clients and it's really important to make sure that your business can always be seen and is present on all these platforms so that somebody that is looking for your services, you know, can still find you. There's always new stories to tell with businesses like we love like taking on a new challenge and stuff like that. Yeah. Like there's all like there's so many stories out there that are interesting and that people should be telling for their business and stuff yeah. like that. Like we're very uh, fortunate that we recognize quickly like, you know, there that it's so unique to have your own business and be, uh, you know, a team that is you know partners team at home <laughs> and partner squared and you know because of that we've actually met a lot of people that you know like hey you know we're we're a husband wife team and same scenario so you know that uniqueness is like what we like to talk about and it's funny like because of doing these videos we've actually had some people contact us about um, wanting to start their own business with their spouse and how that is and what to do and all that good stuff So and how do you stand not killing each other yeah, and all, yeah. all those little little details? I say headphones, but yeah, yeah headphones. <laughs> but yeah, so I And spa day don't forget spa day. Spa day is important. So I think uh, we may have covered everything. Did we yeah, get everything? yeah, I think so. 
Yeah. So if there's any further questions, you know. Yeah, like we like if you need ideas or anything like that, just ask us. We have a zillion of them because yeah. we've done <laughs> like a different things. Like we you never do the same thing so you get bored. You yeah. always change it up and yeah. try new things. And it's always exciting to try new things. Like it's a, you know, don't be bored. You know, try new things, try see what your competition is up to, you know, see it see what um, other people are doing in the area and you know, always be that unique company and always take care of your own company too and, and take care of yourself and make sure to take care of yourselves like you know shout out to the crazy bees i play baseball every wednesday night and i swear to god if i didn't have that i would go insane it's amazing to go out and like play a sport get out your aggressions you know hit the ball as hard as you can but then like have all these friends that you've been friends with for years and go to the pub after and just chat about life and stuff. I really look forward to my Wednesdays and I really look forward to my Fridays when, you know, I'm lucky to have a significant other that's like, yeah, go hang out with your best friend. Do it every Friday. Like that's important. You need that outlet. So, you know, always be there encouraging each other too. And yeah, we spend a lot of time together, but it's really important that you get that, that separate time too. Yeah, we both have our own friends and yeah. stuff like that. Yep, we have our own friends and our own activities. And, and we still do date night and yeah. all that. We just did date night recently. Yeah, last Saturday. Shout out to uh, uh, the beer town in uh, Burlington. We were there. Yeah, it was fantastic. Good, great food and uh, the beer. <laughs> yeah, very accommodating for a guy yeah, on crutches. Yeah. yeah, fantastic staff, fantastic food. There's a little shout out to them if you're in Burlington, had their way. Love it there. Yeah. Well, I guess till next time, uh, which will be in either a couple of weeks yeah. that we'll be uh, talking about a new subject. Still working on what it is going to be. I'm not going to like spoil it. So yeah, Shane doesn't like to spoil anything. I don't even know. what She it doesn't is. get to know until like you know the week of. Half the time it's a day of. Just put it out there. Okay. Yeah. Because he likes to surprise me with what's new. And it's actually great because I'm good on the fly, so. Yeah, I'm better on the fly. Like, anytime I try to script stuff, I sound like robot. And it's true. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like to be on the fly. Yeah. So, I hope that you guys are all having a good day. We're going to let you go. And a great summer so far. We're going to let you go. Enjoy yourselves. And we will talk to you all soon. If you have any questions again, just leave them in the comments. We're more than happy to answer them. Peace out, guys. See ya.